going to talk about when and how airplanes were formed. Airplanes were formed on 17 December 1903 by Wilbur and Orville Wright. They made four brief flights at Kitty Hawk with their first powered aircraft. An airplane is a powered fixed wing aircraft that is pushed forward by thrust from a jet engine, propeller or a rocket engine. The design of the airplane was inspired from that of George Cale. The Wright brothers invented and flew the first airplane in 1903, recognized as the first sustained and controlled heavier than air powered flight. Passenger plane is a type of aircraft for transporting passengers and air cargo. Such aircrafts are more often operated by a passenger plane. Although the definition of a passenger plane may vary from country to country, a passenger plane is typically defined as an aeroplane intended for carrying multiple passengers or cargo in commercial service. The largest of them are white body jets, which are also called twin ACL because they generally have two separate ACLs running from the front to the back of the passenger cabin. These are usually used for long-haul flights between airline hubs and major cities. A smaller, more common class of airliners is the narrow body or single ASL. These are generally used for short to medium distance flights with fewer passengers than their wide body counterparts. Regional airlines typically seat fewer than 100 passengers and may be powered by turbofans or turboprops. These passenger planes are the non-mainline counterparts to the larger aircraft operated by the major cities' legacy carriers and flag carriers are used to fit traffic into the large airline hubs. These regional routes then from the spokes of a hub and spoke air transport mode. As the name suggests, it is also a military fixed wing aircraft. This aircraft is especially made for air-to-air -air combat. Example, a huge one. Some of the key features of this aircraft not just includes firepower, by the way, firepower means the shooting ability of any weapon. Example, a tanker or the fighter aircraft. And the other key feature of this aircraft also includes the high speed. Whatever the key features and functions are, when it comes to a battle, it does not just depend on the aircraft, the fighter jet, it also depends on the pilot who is driving this. Boeing Planes The Boeing Company is an American multinational corporation that designs, manufactures and sells airplanes, rotorcraft, satellites, etc. Its services are available worldwide. The CEO of Boeing is Dave Calhoun. The founder of Boeing was William E. Boeing, founded on the year July 15, 1916. Billionaires Who Own Boeing Mark Cuban is a stock market investor. He has set a record in the Guinness Book of World Record for the single transaction in uh, internet of worth $40 million. He owns a Boeing 757 in which it costs around $36 million. Lawrence Edward Page is an American computer scientist. He is also known as one of the co-founder of Google with Sergey Brin. He owns a Boeing 767 worth of $25 million. Donald Trump was known as a president of USA and a, now a current businessman. He owns two highly customized Boeing planes, each worth of $100.8 million. Ambani family is known as the wealthiest families over several years in India. And Ambani owns Boeing worth of $43.1 million. Advantages of air transport. It is the fastest mode of transport and therefore suitable for carrying goods over a long distance and requires less time. It provides comfortable, efficient and quick transport services. It is regarded as the best mode of transport for transporting perishable goods. It is free from physical barriers because it follows the shortest and direct routes. It avoids delay in obtaining clearance. It plays a significant role in national defense of country because modern wars are conducted with the help of aeroplane. It is easy it is easy access with those areas which are not accessible to other means of transport. Disadvantages of air transport. High cost. 
Air transport is a costly service. Its operational costs are too high. Middle class and poor people cannot afford its cash. More risks. Air transport is prone to accidents. A simple mistake can be very dangerous for the passengers. Hijacking is easily possible. Huge investments. For creating aviation facilities, huge investments are required. The cost of aeroplanes, construction and maintenance of aerodromes are also required. But this requires a lot of expenses. Today, I will be talking about the Netflix documentary called Spitfire, which was released in 2018. The story of the Spitfire begins in 1931. It achieves a speed of 360 miles per hour and is able to climb 20,000 feet in 9 minutes and its wing design makes it highly maneuverable. Um, it was a British aircraft that was used by the Royal Air Force and was also used in the World War II and in the end of World War I. It was, it was, a, it was a British aircraft that was known for its power, speed, movement and stability. It even helped win the World War II. It's a single seat fighting aircraft that was used in the end of World War I and the beginning of Hitler's reign.